When you think of New York City, you think of the bright lights in Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, and of course the pizza. Everybody loves the pizza, even the vegan mayor. You almost see that pie in front of you. You start to get happy. I think pizzas have saved more marriages than any other food. You know, sharing a pie with your boo is like, that's the ultimate. Well, now Adams is pulling the ultimate betrayal. He wants to split up the beautiful marriage between pizza and coal fire ovens. He's floating the idea of banning restaurants from using wood and coal ovens because that's what's going to save the environment. Every toxic entity that we remove from our air is adding up to the overall desire to deal with uh, shrinking our uh, carbon footprint. So the vegan mayor thinks that cooking a pizza for two minutes in a coal oven is going to destroy the planet. <laughs> Wrong. Coal and wood burning ovens make up less than a percent of residential and commercial greenhouse gas emissions. Most of the bad gases come from factories and forest fires. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Canada. I got an idea. How about instead of going after mom and pop pizza places, you go after Trudeau, who just dropped a smoke bomb on us, and Adams just rolled over and took it. Now, New York already has gotten away with the gas stoves. Now they're going after the ovens? What are we supposed to do? Microwave the pizza? It's going to crush small business, and it's going to crush everybody who loves good pizza. New Yorkers are giving City Hall a piece of their mind. You heard of the Boston Tea Party? Well, this is the Boston, New York, this is the New York Pizza Party. Give us pizza or give us death. Give us pizza or give us death. Can't have a small business. Can't have pizza. New York City is nothing without pizza. That pizza slinger, Scott Lebedo, joins me now. You are a hero. What would you like to tell New York City? Let me start off with this. Tomorrow, when the clouds are gone, I want you to look up in the sky. There's this big, giant ball full of raging, furious fire, okay? And when she gets pissed off, when she's in a bad mood, whether it was a million years ago, 50 years ago, or yesterday, she controls the thermostat <laughs> on this little planet. It's not the effing pizza. <laughs> it's not my SUV. We got this little Hansel and Gretel chick. What, what'd she say? We were, gonna be, uh, we were gonna be gone. Last week, we were gonna be gone. Al Gore, 2012, underwater. <laughs> These people, listen to me. I, I, I know people, I, I'm an activist. I've been doing this stuff for 30 years. Not necessarily throwing pizza, throwing blood, throwing paint, fighting all of this politically correct stuff I saw happening 30 years ago. And there's people, it's money. Oh yeah, they want to bang people out for money and push the small business out. But it's about people who never followed their dreams to the full extent because they were too involved and worried about all of this sensitivity level. So they hate themselves. Therefore, you cannot enjoy a slice of pizza. Adams wants to meet with you. You've raised so much hell that the mayor wants to sit down and hash this out. Are you going to sit down with the mayor and fix this? Uh, my councilman friend, Joe Borelli, is going to set that up. I agree to it. I thought about it. You know, I'm not happy with his policies. But again, if I'm an activist and what I do is to try to change policy for the people of this city, I will sit down with him if it helps. Did you get arrested for slinging that pie across City Hall's gate? No, I did not, because I am a big supporter of the police department, and these guys came at me. And again, they were right there, so it's not like they came from miles away. And they were like, Scott, we don't want to arrest you. And I was like, all right, I'll take the summons. We, we did what we had to do. And if I do meet you, uh, Mr. Mayor, I will, uh, it, I'm very reluctant to bring you a vegan pizza, because I, <laughs> there's no such thing. It's pizza. But I will. But if you ask me to bring pineapple, I'm going to be throwing <laughs> pineapples at City Hall. Just letting you know that. Of all the things going on in the city... The overdoses, the migrant crisis, the gunshots. He's going after pizza ovens. You just can't, you can't explain the insanity. Listen, what I did was a battle cry, what I always do. And the beauty is, as funny as it is, throwing pizza. I'm an artist. Now I use props. Visual <laughs> stimulation. What, was I going to just draw a slice of pizza? There we go. You got I'll one right here. scream something. You got some props right here. You know, don't, oh, I'm all fired up. Don't let me self-pour this, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know what? This... The cheese just slid right off this thing. It's not Staten Island pizza. It's good <laughs> New York pizza. I would have brought you Staten Island pizza, but I was here in the city all day. All right. Listen, cheers to the mayor. Do the right thing, Adams. 
This ban has got to go. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.